We are still in the process of kitting out our flat, but on one of the many trips to Ikea, I spotted this kind of garden greenhouse thing. Uh, it looked really cool, so I bought it. But unfortunately, when I got it home, I realised the light it had in the showroom, it was an optional extra. And so rather than going back and purchasing that, what I'm going to do is build a time-controlled grow light for this, uh, this thing here. For the lights on this thing, I'm going to use WS2812 NeoPixel LEDs. Uh, main reason is I've already got a load of them. And also I think it should give me the kind of colour range that I need for this. I think to match daylight I need blues and reds kind of primarily and I think this should do the job. So I've finished soldering up all the LEDs. I've got 20 LEDs per strip here. So that's uh, 60 in total. They're connected up in series as you traditionally would, but I've also kind of joined up the power rails on the opposite side. So the data kind of comes through like that. But at the other end here, I've just ganged up power and power so that it's gonna be kind of slightly better to distribute power. So by the time you get to the end of the strip, basically, it's not just floating on its own. And I've got their kind of power and data lines ready to go back down to the base. So what I've got to do now is just stick this on the top. And I think to do that, it's just going to be a case of um, using some DHB tape, because that is all I have with me at the moment. So to control this, what I'm going to use is a Teensy. I've been using a lot of these for a project recently. And for, for this bit, it's a little bit overkill, but I've got a few ideas for other advancements for this. So it's the reason why I'm going with this board in this case. It's also got kind of built-in support for a real-time clock, which I'm going to need if I'm going to have the lights turn on and off at particular times. To kind of add complete support for that, you need to add a little kind of crystal to the underside of the board and there's a backup battery as well. So I finished wiring up the board. It is incredibly simple this one. I've just got the TNZ backup battery and input and output connector. So I've got five volts coming in and then the uh, NeoPixel kind of LED line going out. I've left a fair amount of space on here because I think I might try to put some kind of irrigation system in in the future. But this is kind of good enough for now. To get the software running, I've just included effectively the default Teensy time library, which makes use of the internal real-time clock. And I've also used the fast LED library for controlling the lights. At the moment it's just cycling through some kind of funky colour test thing. But I'm going to get it just to output a um, kind of roughly white but with a little less green in it, which I think is probably where it should be. And I'll have that set up on a basic timer. So I finished wiring this up and setting it up. I've got it outputting a white light but hinted towards um, kind of pinky purple. Not quite sure if that can be seen, but uh, that I think is roughly where it should be, although I will do a little bit more research into the correct colour to use here. It's set up using the real-time clock on a timer to turn on and off kind of rough daylight patterns, but again, it's one of those things I need to look at to see what will be best for this. There's a little shelf sat under here, kind of built into the unit, and I'm going to mount the electronics underneath. The other thing I need to sort out is a slightly more powerful power supply for this, just so I can get the LEDs up to kind of full brightness.